the rematch is, is front and centre of the mind of Team Whitaker. First and foremost, because of the neck injury. <laughs> the foot injury. The neck injury. Wait a minute. Wait Wait a minute! The foot injury, the neck injury, the foot injury, the neck injury, and because it kept him out so long last time, there is precaution and rehab, but... Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Today, we have some news from the Ben Whitaker camp and Ben Shalom, you know, and Boxer and all that good stuff and Bon Bon, you know. Apparently, he has a date set to make his return or an approximate date, right? He has like a time period. They're thinking about between March and April. It's not going to keep him out long. As I said, we're already looking at March or April for a big homecoming in, in the Midlands. And you know, and they were speaking on the injury that's, you know, that he sustained against Liam Cameron that a lot of people don't really believe they're not buying into, right? Even calling him Ben Quitaker as opposed to Ben Whitaker, you know, <laughs> which I think is really funny. Messed up, but funny, you know. So they're, they, once again, naturally, he was in an interview. Ben Shalom released this information. They asked him about the injury, right? And he replied, said, you know, the neck injury. The foot injury. Yeah. Um, it, it's a re-aggravated injury from something that happened before. And I went to thinking. I was like, hmm, another fight. And I was like, yeah, I actually do recall him getting hurt against Peter Nosik in Saudi Arabia. So I was like, maybe he needs to stay away from Saudi Arabia because it gets hot in that boxer ring over there. You know what I'm talking about? So that competition is real high. So if you're not ready, maybe you need to chill in Liverpool. You feel me? But anyway, but I went to thinking. I was like, hold on. I remember it. But I thought it was a shoulder injury. What's on your shoulder there? Um, sign of an injury. Tell us all about it. Yeah, you know, uh, from the day we all picked up a little niggle. Now, you know, I'm not here to question the, the legitimacy of his injury or anything like that. Because, you know, the shoulder is close enough to the neck, right? We just go throw all that together. Yeah. <laughs> no, all, all jokes aside, I do think, you know, as an athlete, a former athlete, and you only have to be an athlete, even if you're just active, right? You know that you you definitely sustain some injuries that some some you don't even know where the source was, where it came from, how it happened. It might just be that you turned a certain way. So I definitely don't want to question the legitimacy of his injuries or pre-existing injuries that he has. So I believe him. And just because it wasn't this time, it could have been his neck before too. You know, so I don't want to question that. But I do think it's a little suspicious for the people that are doubting his story, like Liam Cameron and his camp. And I know <laughs> it's gonna open the door for a lot of jokes, and I'm gonna laugh at him because I do think that he probably is injured. But I also think, more importantly, that it's funny, you know? So, <laughs> so you know, I, I wish him the best. I can't wait for him to return in April or May. Sorry, March or April. And they said that um, Liam Cameron, that rematch is on the front of their minds. You know, that's another thing. Do you believe it? I don't know. But I, will, I think that he does have some unfinished business that he needs to take care of. You know what I'm saying? So that would be good to see him go that way and try to and try to avenge that, uh, that inconclusive result, right? So I think Ben Whitaker, he has a lot to make up as far as reputation goes but he can start doing that once he's fully healed he can start doing that by you know uh, uh having a revenge rematch against um against liam cameron to to you know build up his reputation and to let people know that hey it, it was a legitimate injury and now i'm gonna kick your behind but liam cameron you know he has some stuff to prove too he's like hey man you know i'm gonna prove to you that you know last time you will get up out of there when I was going to win that fight, you know, and he's convinced himself and others, as he should, you know what I'm saying? So I love to see this rematch. I love to see what's going to go on with it. And if it actually happens, I think that's going to be the next move. That, well, I think that would be the right move. I don't know what the next move is. But according to them, we can anticipate his return in March of eight or April of 2025. So I want to drop that on you, man. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we do anything without God. We're anything. The doctor's out. Peace. I really believe I'll look back on this moment as as and be grateful for it. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.